Hi there! In this presentation we will look at the design and calculation tools in order to determine the feasibility of a conversion project. In former presentations this building adaptation process cycle has been explained. In this presentation we will zoom into the second phase, the design and feasibility phase. In this presentation you will learn to design and calculate to find out if a reuse concept is feasible or not. So first of all, let's start with a question. How can you determine how much a vacant building is worth? A vacant building's value depends on the future function of the building. If a building will be used as an office, it may have a different value than if it is transformed into dwellings. So several factors play a role in this, including location, market price for that specific function, and the ad adaptability of the building. The value of a vacant building can be determined with the residual value method. In this method, you calculate the future value of the building for a specific reuse concept, the development costs, and you then determine the residual value. The residual value is the price that a developer is willing to pay for a vacant building when transforming it into a specific function. So, you cal calculate the residual value with the following formula. The gross development value minus the development costs equals the residual value. If you want to find out which reuse concept is most feasible or profitable for a specific building, you can determine the highest and best use. You can determine the highest and best use by calculating the residual value of different reuse concepts. The concept with the highest residual value can be considered the highest and best use and therefore is the most feasible reuse concept. Now let's look at an example from practice. This is the Westmansum building in the Dutch city of Delft. It is a former office building that has now been transformed into dwellings. We will now use this example to explain the residual value method. The Westmansum building used to be an office building, which consisted of open office floors and it was located in a residential neighborhood. The building was considered suitable for adaptive reuse. In order to determine the residual value of the Westmansum building, we will firstly have to calculate the gross development value and the development costs. We will start with determining the gross development value. The gross development value is the sale price of the conversion. So it is the price that a new owner is willing to pay when a developer has transformed the building into a specific function. With the following step-by-step -step plan, you can calculate the gross development value. Firstly, you design a reuse concept. And you can do this by drawing rough floor plans for a specific function. Then you determine the usable floor area in your concept. This is the floor area that can be sold or let out after the conversion. After that, you can do some market research. Look at the sale price per meeting of buildings that have a similar function as your, as your concept. And finally, when you have all these numbers, you can calculate the gross development value by multiplying the usable floor area by the market price per square meter. So now you have determined the gross development value. The second number we have to calculate is the amount of development costs. The development costs include the total construction costs and the expected profit. Let's use the step-by-step -step plan to determine the development costs of the particular reuse concept. Firstly, you take the reuse concept that you designed for your previous calculations. Then, you determine the gross floor area of the building. And after that, you determine the average construction costs for the specific reuse plan. Then, you calculate the expected profits. This can be a percentage of the total construction costs. When you found all these numbers, you can calculate the total development costs by adding the construction costs and the expected profit. With these calculations, you have now determined the gross development value 
and the development costs. With these numbers, you can easily calculate the residual value of a specific reuse concept. The residual value can be calculated with the following step-by-step -step plan. The residual value equals the gross development value minus the development costs. So, in the example of the conversion of the West Monsoon building to dwellings, the residual value equals 2,175,000 euros. As we previously saw, a building's value depends on its future function. So, what does that mean? Each different reuse concept has a different future value and a different amount of development costs. So, for example, the development costs of transforming an office building into dwellings will be higher than preserving its function as an office. Besides that, the revenue that a developer can collect may be higher when transforming the building into dwellings. In the case of the West Monsoon building, the residual value will be 1 million euros when the building will be continued to be used as an office. When transforming the building into dwellings, the residual value is much higher. So this is how you determine the highest and best use. You compare different reuse concepts and determine the concept with the highest residual value. That concept can be considered the highest and best use. So therefore, the conversion of the West Monsoon building to dwellings can be considered as its highest and best use. So with these methods, you now know how to determine the feasibility of a reuse concept, the residual value of a building for a specific reuse concept, and the highest and best use for a vacant building. Thank you for watching and good luck with the calculations.